Hello, I'm Kate Shuttleworth with the Public Knowledge Project. Welcome to this video on the PKP Preservation Network. The PKP Preservation Network allows publishers of OJS journals to digitally preserve their content. This means that in the event that a journal stops publishing or goes offline, there will be a way to have continued long-term access to articles and issues. The PKP Preservation Network deposits content using the LOCKS program. LOCKS stands for Lots of Copies Keep Stuff Safe and uses a decentralized and distributed preservation system. The PKP Preservation Network functions as a dark archive, meaning that end users will not have access to the preserved content until after a trigger event. After a trigger event, PKP staff will import the preserved content into one or more OJS instances hosted by PKP member institutions. Once loaded into these host OJS instances, the content will be publicly accessible. Please note that archiving your content in the PKP PN is not the same as backing up your OJS site. Backups should occur regularly and can be restored immediately, while access to content in the PKP Preservation Network is only available after a trigger event. The Preservation Network archive cannot be used if you lose content on your site and need to restore it. Your site administrator should perform frequent backups of your site and these backups are separate from long-term preservation in the network. There's a few reasons why journals should consider registering for the PKP Preservation Network. This is the best way to ensure that your journal content is preserved in perpetuity, and it will be there regardless of any changes that might occur in platforms or hosting software. In addition to ensuring long-term access to your content, having a digital preservation and archiving strategy and making this explicit as part of a policy is one of the key components of the Directory of Open Access Journals application process policy and one of the criteria for being awarded the DOAJ seal. So what do you need to register for the PKP Preservation Network? Journals will need to be hosted on a recent version of OJS, so that's version 3.1 or higher. You'll need an ISSN registered and entered into the journal settings and you'll need to have at least one published article. Once the Preservation Network um, plugin is enabled, deposits will happen automatically into the Preservation Network each time a journal issue is published. Journal managers can check the status of the plugin to confirm that issues have been successfully added to the network. So here I have an example of a journal that already has the plugin enabled. So if I visit the plugin in the website settings under installed plugins, I'll just locate it in the list. It's the PKP PN plugin. I can see it's enabled. Click the drop down. We'll look at the settings in a moment, but for now we'll look at the status. And this confirms that all of these issues have been successfully deposited into the archive. So journals can register for the Preservation Network by installing and enabling the PKP PN plugin, then going to the plugin settings, agreeing to the terms of use, and clicking save. So here I have another journal that has not yet installed or has not yet filled in the plugin settings, but they do have their ISSN in place. So again, I'll go to the website settings under installed plugins, locate the plugin in the list, check to see that it's enabled or check this box if it's not yet enabled, visit the settings. Here I can see the checklist with the terms of use. So I'll read each of these carefully, check them off as I agree to each one. The journal identifier is automatically provided to me by OJS. So I'll just click save. And at that point, my journal will be added to the preservation network and I'll be able to go into the status once I publish an issue and check to make sure that issue has been sent to the archive. So here are the screenshots of what we just looked at, locating the plugin under the installed plugins list, checking off the terms of use and clicking save. For more information about the PKP Preservation Network, you can go to the PKP guide. A lot of the details in this video are from this guide. And there's also some troubleshooting techniques for journals that might need additional help. And you're also welcome to visit the PKP community forum to ask questions from of our community and get further support.
Thanks for watching.